Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's 2-Minute Tech. Today we're going to take a look at Sophos Central Admin Console. You're looking at the new dashboard of the Sophos Cloud Endpoint Console, which has been updated over the last 90 days. This dashboard is now referred to as the Sophos Central Admin Console. You'll notice that there are no more pop-out menus, visual flyouts, or even pull-down menus across the top as we've grown accustomed to in past consoles. They've opted now for the more permanent labeled icons um, along the left side here. They're permanent because they, uh, we call them permanent because they stay there, uh, they don't collapse. And so as I'm navigating throughout my menuing system, configuring, administrating, doing maintenance, uh, I always have access to any one of these menu items because they're always there, cool thing. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, the uh, reporting sections are pretty standard. They have not changed much. Maybe some of the uh, form and uh, function uh, have changed a little bit, colors. But uh, for the most part, they're still the same. We still have our alerts. Uh, our alerts uh, still allow us to hyperlink and get more detail and acknowledge them, delete them, zero them out. Uh, we still have a usage summary panel here, which gives us more information about the, the users, maybe the computers, the uh, mobile devices, or servers. And for those who are using the um, web gateway product, um, they can manage that from this console as well and get a lot more statistical information about uh, what's going on in the web console. Uh, we have some generic web stats here in terms of uh, web threats that have been blocked and what types of policy violations have been issued. Um, Again, these are summaries. If we want to see more detail behind the numbers, we have our C-Report hyperlinks. Down below here, again, if you're subscribed to the Web Gateway product, um, you'll get some more information regarding those URLs and phishing attempts and malware that are blocked. So you can now correlate them with the users and uh, get uh, more, uh, more status on how to protect yourself. Down below here, they've added the cyber, cyber threat feed where they maintain, it looks like, four storylines. These are current, up to date. If you want more information about any one of these, um, just feel free to click on the Read More hyperlink and uh, read on. What you'll notice going forward is Sophos will start to integrate all of their on-prem products into this console, which makes them manageable from the cloud. So they're doing a lot of cool things here. We like what they're doing. We like where they're going. And uh, they seem to have a, a, a robust mission. And so as we see more changes and uh, we have more to report on, we'll keep these re two-minute texts updated. Thanks and have a good day. Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. If you need additional product information, configuration, or implementation services, please contact us at help at productivecorp.com, 800-726-4099. We are here to help.